another episode of Kathy's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making homemade vegetable soup. And just to show you what all we use in it, this is frozen corn that we grew out of the garden. It would be equal to about four cans of canned corn that you buy out of the store. We're going to be using four onions, three bottles of V8 vegetable That's juice. 64 ounce. It's 64 ounce bottles, two sticks of margarine. This is a whole bag of celery. We're going to be using broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, canned chicken, Canned green beans and canned peas. Yeah, four four can four and cans of each. At least eight freshly peeled potatoes. So we're going to give you, a, and this will be used in it as meat. It's canned chicken, but it's got some great, great seasonings in it and we'll be using a small amount of Montreal chicken seasoning so that it'll have added flavor to it. We're gonna pause the video for the moment, get all of this diced up and put into the kettle and we will show you what's going on with it then. Alright, we're, we're on. Um, we're making a very large batch. Yeah, we started out with a smaller one. We had to get the bigger one. <laughs> yeah, because I like to, I like vegetable soup all winter long. And I try to fix enough when I do make a batch that I can freeze it. Now, we use three jugs of V8, plus we're adding one quart of home canned tomato juice. That's everything. We'll, we'll, I'll put the um, ingredients, I'll put how much everything, once everything was chopped up, I'll put um, how many cups of each it made in the description. And let me tell you people, they ain't nothing better than a good batch of vegetable soup on a cold winter's day. And this, once it's done, it will be so good. And I can't wait for it to get done. But we're going to have to pause until it does get done because I'm sure you don't want to watch an hour and a half long video. And what's the saying? A watch pot never boil. <laughs> That's right. And we want this to boil. Okay. So we will turn it back on in just a little bit. And that way you can see the finished product. And hopefully our taste tester will be here to taste test it and let you know how it come out. Alright. We've already put two tablespoons of Montreal chicken seasoning in this. And since there was only another tablespoon a little over left, we're putting in a total of four tablespoons. That gives it a little added flavor because that nothing tastes better than Montreal chicken seasoning, just so you know. Now, the soup is done. We're waiting for the royal taste tester. When she gets in, we will resume the video. Okay. All right. My royal taste tester has arrived, <laughs> and she is getting ready to try our our style of homemade 
vegetable soup. Yeah, let them know that you put the... And there's and, a hoe cake down yeah. the bottom. Yes, we use, we use fried cornbread hoe cakes mm -hmm. instead of crackers because it tastes better, people. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Where's the drum roll? <laughs> I ain't good at drumming. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it very good? Is it on a scale of 1 to 10? It's a, ten, a 12 or 13. All right, people, you mm. heard it here first. With that cornbread in the bottom of it. Mm. And it does have Montreal chicken seasoning in it, too. Mmm. As well as the canned chicken. Mm hmm And it's it, excellent. It's got cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, mm -hmm. you name it, any vegetable. One of everything. It's just, got just about some of everything in it. I didn't try kale. Don't I mean. have never <laughs> had kale in my life. Never have seen it cooked. I don't eat kale. <laughs> I'm afraid to. They mm -hmm. say it's high in vitamin K, but... That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Queen, <laughs> she's got to sit down to finish it. I sit down to eat it. It's good. And we will be with you again next week. And until then, remember, God <clears throat> loves each and every one of us. He sent his son to die for us. So please, please know that I am always thankful for every bit of the food I eat. And I'm even thankful for the dirty dishes over here in my sink. Because that says that God has blessed me with being able to Fix enough soup that I can bag some up, freeze it, and have it on a colder day. God bless you and we love you.